Hey guys, Casey here with, with Blue Marble Consulting. Uh, today we're going to be covering SAP Customer Aging, PO Drill Down, Vendor, and GL Reporting in a real brief overview. So with that, let's jump into our demo. And what we've got here is we've got transaction code SALR8701. 2175 and it's just a customer aging report um, what we'll see on this specific aging report is an example of a customer open items by number of days in which they are due net per company code or business area so what I've got set up here is we're gonna run it wide open we're not gonna put a customer in I've got a company code 1000 just put today's date in and then I put for our columns for do I put column one due in 30 days and column due in 60 days so this will show us data that's due from customers within the next 30 to 60. So if we come in here and we start looking around, we can see that, uh, for instance, customer 16 asphalt, asphalt fuel supply in the next 30 days owes us $238,400. So this is a great report for customer aging and forecasting uh, to see what is due. Next, we're going to jump into our PO. And we've picked a PO that's already been processed here. It's gone through. We've got our um, PO line item. And if we wanted to go see our specific account assignments, we could. Uh, for our purchase order history, this is where we can look and we can see our amounts. We can see our goods receipt and our invoice receipt. From here, we also have the abilities to drill down further into uh, look at our types of our documents. So we can go look at our accounting doc and we can see what we're being charged and what accounts it's gone to. Plus, we can also see our uh, timestamps for our user timestamps on our docs. So here we go. We've got our timestamp here. We can see that Colin entered it. We can see the date it was entered. And we can see the T code it was entered on, plus other data. Um, if we want to back up here, we can go look at our, that was our FI doc. Now we can go look at our controlling document. Once again, we can go in and see specifics on our controlling side, our managerial reporting side. Um, so just to finish things off, we'll be jumping down and we're going to look at a couple of reports. This is a GL line item. We're just going to kind of compare a GL line item display versus a uh, vendor line item display. So we can see that I've got a GL in here, we've got our values, and I just put it for open items. So if we go take a look at this GL, I believe this is groceries. We can see all the charges for whatever time period we put in. We can see everything that was posted against this GL. And we've got document numbers provided, doc types provided, so we know what types of transactions they were entered in. We've got dates, amounts, and we can change these layouts. We can vary them. Uh, to any customer's needs. So lastly, we'll take a look at our vendor line item display. It's a little bit different. Um, I've got a vendor on here now. We're just doing open items, same parameters as the last screen, but this is going to be looking at specifically at the vendor, not at the uh, GL. So this goes in and we can actually look at a vendor name <clears throat> and we can see um, this specific vendor that we chose happens to have a lot of overdue items. So there's indicators on these uh, types of reports that can give us that information. So what we just went through today on this one was we went and we looked at a customer aging report. Uh, one of our many reports, this was a forecasted report. We saw that uh, the customer open items by number of days in which they're due to us. Uh, we looked into a PO and we looked at our financial doc and our controlling doc. We drilled into those documents. We could see the postings to those documents and then we also looked at a date and timestamp on those documents. And then we took a look at FBL 3N, which is a GL view, and FBL 1N, which is a vendor view for, H or for, for uh, reporting. So uh, with that, thank you. And if you have any questions about SAP con Consulting or Blue Marble Consulting, please contact us via the data on the screen. Thanks.